Hey guys, so Lord here, back in with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Spawn's Universe Reaper, aka not Redeemer, although he's using a lot of the same parts. This course is brought to us by the fine folks over at McFarlane Toys. And speaking of reuse, a lot of people have kind of had it up to here. My hand's above my head for those of you who can't see uh, into the ether there, but. Um, They've had it up to here with McFarlane toys and reuse and minimal accessories. That said, out of all of the quote-unquote Redeemer figures we've gotten in the Spawn's Universe line, this guy has the most accessories. Um, the, this guy's got the most plastic in the box, and, uh, you know, that's all fine and dandy. That said, he's a bit lacking in paint, but, um, you know, for me, being visually impaired, that doesn't impact my enjoyment of figures quite as much as it used to, all right? Now, I'm not gonna justify it as I hit puberty mid-sentence, but, you know, I'm only gonna piss and moan about stuff that affects me, unfortunately. And uh, while I am a bit sick of reuse, if this is what the character is supposed to look like, it's what the character is supposed to look like, and there's nothing we can really do about it. So, before I get too far ahead of myself here, why don't we cut right to the chase and get to the meat and taters of this review and take a look see at all the Ripa has to offer in terms of accessories. Starting off with a pair of alternate hands. First time we've ever gotten alternate hands with this body. They are open kind of gesture hands. I'm not a fan of these. I, I took them both off. He's Again, he's packaged with these. But uh, I will tell you, it is a bitch to get those grip hands on. So, uh, you know, I would probably pick what hand you're going to use and just stick with it. And then we also get his scythe. He is a reaper after all. Makes sense that he comes with one of these. Very much uh, larger than Raven Spawn's scythe. So uh, he's going to be a little jealous. A little jelly of what kind of heat old reapers pack in here but uh, you know it is what it is very warped blade out of package i managed to straighten that a little bit but i can only do so much wanted to get this review done and uh there was something else that uh kind of got in the way of me filming this a little bit sooner uh, and that is his right shoulder but we'll get into that uh, no left shoulder stupid uh, that said, Old Reaper here was my birthday present to myself. And for those of you wondering how my 27th birthday went, eh, I mean, it was alright. Eh, I don't know. Um, there are plenty of factors that kind of resulted into why it was kind of mid to meh at best. I mean, I'm not going to get into that here. Uh, you can watch my uh, Battle Armor He-Man Masterverse review for more on that. But, um, you know, it wasn't straight ass, but it wasn't as good as I had kind of hoped it would be. But, you know, maybe I have high standards and I'm a selfish piece of shit. You know, you never know. <laughs> um, but uh, taking a closer look at the Reaper here. This was an Amazon purchase. Comes with the hockey puck display stand. We've seen with all McFarlane Toys releases. Complete with a Spawn logo. And uh, not for nothing, he wasn't on any kind of major discount. He was like a couple bucks less, maybe not even. I'm used to these things being 25, and I think they're a little cheaper on Amazon as it is. So he wasn't really on sale, but kind of, sort of was. It said he, of course, has the same old Redeemer wings with the the ball hinges, so they can hinge back and forth and rotate up and down, and also kind of spin here. Um, I will say his wings are a little bit more hard plastic feeling than that of the Redeemers. And I think even the King Spawn had a softer plastic on the wings than this guy. Uh, that said, as far as articulation goes, it's the same Redeemer butt we've seen time and time again. Though he does appear to get a little bit more up and down out of the head, which is nice. He's wearing this kind of... Almost looks like the curse half mask thing. I don't know, for a guy named the Reaper, he doesn't look like a Reaper. He just looks like a, a dirty Redeemer. <laughs> He's got the darker kind of color on the metal parts and the darker undersuit. He just looks like another Redeemer guy. Like, why can't these comic book writers call a character Reaper or Grim Reaper and make him look like a Grim Reaper? Is that so wrong? Is that cliche? 
I don't know. All I know is Marvel does it too. They got a guy named Grim Reaper and all it is is some white dude running around with a fucking scythe on his hand. Either way, his head will rotate side to side, tilt side to side. His shoulders will go out. About that far. I don't want to push it too far and knock stuff off, but get pretty decent range out of that. They do rotate, they do have that cap in there, but it's either stuck on this side or just doesn't really work that well. Uh, maybe it's stuck, I don't know, let me see, let me pop the arm up. Pop the wing back, there we go, there we go, it's just tight on this side. So is that he's got a bicep swivel very tight and uh, as far as this side goes on mine let's see I can do all the same stuff as the other side pop it up rotate it whatever this pauldron popped off it wasn't glued on very well so it popped off and uh, I had to have my dad glue that back on because I don't trust myself with super glue I'm visually impaired and don't feel like having a creature of the black lagoon hands if you know what I'm saying so he was nice enough to do that I had to try and get this shoulder popped in because the way they attach this shoulder pad is it's inside the bicep cut it's not like on the outside of the bicep where you think it would be it's on the inside of the bicep cut and because of that it uh, is kind of a bitch to uh, put back together and the harder part was popping this shoulder back in I don't know why but this was a pain in the fucking ass to get back in there because it just wouldn't line up my shoulder is not loose on this figure per se um, at least it didn't used to be but um, for whatever reason I could not line this thing up to save my freaking life it sucked so um, yeah I'm not a fan of how they constructed this whole assembly here but whatever i've never had a problem with it before uh this was the first time that's happened uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again that said he does have a uh, double elbow that works pretty well considering his ama he's got the ball hinge wrists they move all around popping that wing back uh, his torso can crunch that far back and that far forward not too loose either it's a little wiggly but if you leave it alone or even just kind of shift it a little bit it'll uh, stiffen up so that's fine um, I will say it appears that the pauldrons are new I think the chest piece is new uh, the back piece might be the same as Redeemer not sure uh, maybe I'd have to check Redeemer. Uh, the head's obviously new. I think the gauntlets are reused. The hands are definitely reused. Uh, the legs? I'm not sure. Um, I want to say the legs are new-ish. Like, the lower legs are definitely new. The feet are definitely new. The ball hinges are probably a similar sculpt, but they're different from Redeemer's, and I'll tell you why in a minute. I want to say the legs are a little different. I think this leg might be the same as Redeemer, but this one is not. This strap thingy is a little different, and maybe the knees are the same as Redeemer. But uh, as far as his hips go, he can kick forward and back. I don't know about the diaper either. Um, maybe that's different? I can't tell. I should have grabbed one for a comparison, but they do kick out. Kick back down. He's got a little thigh quiver in there he's got a double knee that works fine it said them spikes are gonna jab you right in the thumb when you're trying to move it so be careful with that but you can get really good crunch out of that like that's a ton of crunch Considering all the armor he's wearing, that's pretty generous. And he's not all gappy either, so I don't know. You know, everyone can kiss that collector's edition Wonder Woman's ass all they want. Yeah, it's a classic Wonder Woman. We finally got one. But uh, the articulation on that thing sucks donkey balls and looks like shit. So, you know, whatever. 
That said, he does have a uh, ball hinge in the foot. Rotates a little bit. He's got a rocker, and he's got a toe joint, which isn't loose. So definitely a bit of an upgrade compared to the Redeemers. Um, I would say out of all the Redeemer figures, this one's probably the tightest. Although I will say, this hip always seems to be loose, the left side. It's not bad on him. It's got the D10 in there, but it's just not, I think, up to par with what I've seen from McFarlane when they do a really good job, you know? Which is uh, kind of unfortunate, because I want to like this guy a little more than I do. His name is Reaper, after all. I like me some Reapers. I think Reaper's a Q, especially the band Grim Reaper. See you in hell, my friend! Ah! Um, so, yeah, but, you know, I can only like a figure so much when it's got uh, a lot of reuse. You know, the wings are reuse from Redeemer. Of course they is, but I don't mind the wings, though. I will say I do find it weird that the plastic is so much different from the uh, Redeemers, and I think, again, even the King Spawn, but, you know... It's a pretty solid addition to the Spawn line, but, you know, probably not one of the first ones you'll want to pick up unless you're just not into the Redeemer design, then maybe this floats your boat more. I don't know, but with that being said, it's time now that we move right along and take a look at some size comparisons. First up, here is good old Reaper alongside our standard size comparison for the old Spawn Week, the Batman v Spawn 2-pack Spawn as well as his wave mate, the Disruptor, a.k.a. Jason Wynn. That said, is this Reaper guy the Redeemer I think he is, or is the Redeemer I think he is still just plain old Redeemer? I don't know. I've never heard of this character, and quite frankly, it would be nice to get a Tremor, or a Tremor, <laughs> in the Spawn's universe line, if I'm being quite honest with you, or uh, how about a Curse? It's got a very curse-like helmet with the kind of half-face thing going on there. Let's set it moving these two out of the way. Bringing our two regulars for size comparisons. The Mythic Legions, but the bit of that. Right there. And the infamous K-11 spawn. The other kind of standard as far as a well-articulated modern spawn figure goes. I actually move him in a little bit. Kind of cut off there. There you go. Now he's a little less cut off. That said, I want to say Reaper and K-11 spawn are about neck and neck, but, uh, you know, this Redeemer body buck tends to be a bit tall, so maybe he's a little bigger. I don't know, I can't quite tell. So, with that being said, I think it is time now that we wrap things up some final thoughts overall and aside from the left shoulder being a tad bit problematic on my particular figure i'm sure most of them aren't like that i just got lucky again i have to say that good old reaper here is probably the best example of the redeemer body buck next to the dark redeemer most likely because i do remember that one having a little bit more in terms of paint but as far as stability goes and stiffness of the joints this guy's probably got even him beat because the dark redeemer was the tightest figure utilizing the redeemer body buck at the time this guy's a little tighter than that although i will say across all three redeemers it seems like the left hip always seems a little looser than the right not as far as in and out goes, of course, but forward and back. Not sure why that is, but uh, something to note. Uh, that said, if you are kind of sick and tired of the McFarlane Toys reuse, which a lot of people are, I've noticed, maybe give this guy a pass, wait till he goes on a bit more of a sale. He was a couple bucks off when I picked him up, but nothing too crazy. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.